We're Alive, a story of survival. Chapter 3 The New Arrivals Part 1 of 3 Written by Casey Whelan Saul and Angel were on their own. They would left early that morning and headed out along a pre-planned route to pick up supplies for the rest of us back at the tower. I wasn't out there, so I can't tell you firsthand what happened. But from what I was told later, I was able to put the pieces together. We were supposed to turn left back there. What the hell are you doing? Ah, nah, there wasn't enough room. There were like two cars blocking that street. It's just easier to go around. You keep doing this and we're gonna get lost. Would you relax already? I know what I'm doing. Okay, then what's the next street? Paul. All right, you got lucky with that one. See, I got this. Just keep a lookout for survivors. Thought we'd at least find one by now. Two days and there's no one left in LA. I don't get it. Why do you suppose that is? Uh, I'm sure Michael will figure it out. What? You don't think I could? Honestly? No. What makes him so special? What does he have that I don't have? Because let's face it, none of you respect me like you should. Well, see, that's just it. Michael doesn't ask for it. He just gets it. But why? What do I have to do? Earn it. Haven't I done that already? What? What have you done to earn our respect? Well, I've been fighting alongside you the whole time. Yeah, that's right. See, you've been doing the same shit as everyone else is doing, so guess what? We're all equal. Whatever, I'm done talking about this. Sure, go pout. Then you'll pull rank when you don't like what someone's telling you. Pull into this market. Shit, this one's been raided too. Come on, let's just see what they got left. Who the fuck did all this? I don't know. People panic and do foolish things. This is like the third place that's like this. At this rate, we ain't never going to find any- Just load up what you can find. Keep an eye out for drums or anything else that can hold gas. Clean up. I'll sit. Wow. How many do you think were normal out of this bunch? Looks like about half. Weird, huh? How do you think they decided between keeping people as their own or using them for food? Yeah. Because they don't attack each other, do they? See? Told you Michael's not the only one who can figure things out. Hey. Look at this one. Oh. He bit into the can? Why would one of them do that? This is one of them, right? Maybe it was hungry. Well, whoever shot this one was heavily armed. <laughs> he has like 30 holes in him. Hey, look. Tuna! Sweet! Finally, food that's not horrible. Hey, there's a bit of frozen stuff back here. Should we grab it? Yeah, grab that ice chest and we'll load it up with all that we can hold. How do you think Michael's doing back at the tower? Hopefully better than us. File in one at a time, please. We need to make sure you're all okay. Please, give us your name so we can write you down and any skills or jobs you might have had. Can you believe this? How many has that been now? Twenty at least. Five in the first batch and now these people. Kind of exciting, isn't it? Yeah. The lobby can benefit everyone. Look at Peg's beaming over there. She looks great. Oh, 
Are you saying that because of the sign or for other reasons? The sign, of course. First and last name. Riley, you should probably go up and tell Datu that more are on the way for room assignments. Just wait till Sol and Angel see all these people. <laughs> oh, excuse me, I need to go through. I'm fine, Aunt Kelly, stop it. Let me look, you may have something on you, now just hold still. I told you it's nothing. The only two worth mentioning from the second group were Tommy and Kelly. Tommy was 16 at the time and was being babysat by his aunt when everything went bad. Kelly was a lawyer back before all this happened and didn't really care much for kids. She may have known how to deal with the most complex legal cases, but Tommy, to her, was a complete mystery. Stop it, please. I don't need your help. Why don't you go bother someone else? Don't talk to me that way. If your mother heard you speak to me like that... Yeah, well, she's not here and she's not going to be here. Why don't you just wake up? Please don't do this now. You're embarrassing me. You just don't understand what's going on. Name? Kelly Maynard. And your son. Oh, this is Tommy. He's my nephew. Oh, okay. Um, So will you two be staying together? Yeah, I think so. Would that be okay? I'd prefer if we shared the same room. That way I could keep an eye on him. I'll be fine then, Kelly. I can have my own room. Oh, okay. So two rooms then. No, we can stay in one. We'll make room for other people. Come on. Look, I'm old enough to have my own. I don't have to share it with you. Uh, That should be okay. I mean, we have plenty of... you're going to stay with me. We can give you a two-bedroom. Would that be... I'd rather have my own. How many apartments do you have left? Would you excuse us for a moment? Would you stop it? You're embarrassing me. Why can't I have any say in this? I'm taking care of this. You don't understand why... Oh, yeah, I do understand. You can't tell me what to do. You're not my mom. Why can't I stay with someone else? I need to keep an eye on you in case something happens. Keep you safe. Like you kept Lucy safe? First and last name. How can you say that to me? I tried, Tommy. I did. We were lucky to get out of there. I loved your sister. Yeah, well, not enough to go back to get her. She could have been okay. You don't know. Tommy, listen to me. Whatever that was, that wasn't your sister anymore. You know that. Well, it shouldn't have happened in the first place. Had my mom not dumped us with you, none of this would have happened. I didn't have a choice either. You think I want to babysit you? Your mom left you with me and didn't come back. What am I supposed to do now? Do you want me to just leave you? You want to deal with this on your own? Well then, fine. You can do this alone. I don't need this. You're old enough. Why not? Have your own room. Maybe even your own apartment. Everyone else here is focused on looking after themselves. They wouldn't give two shits if something happened to you. Wait, I just... I didn't mean... You said what you said. You wouldn't have said it if you didn't mean it. Come on. We'll tell her you'll have your own apartment. Maybe even with a complete stranger since you can't stand your own aunt. Please, Aunt Kelly, wait. No, come on, let's tell her. Stop. Don't. And why should I? I'm scared, okay? I'm scared too, Tommy. I miss Mom. I know, I miss her too. So we're on the same team now? Yep. All right, come on. Sorry about that. It's just been a... It's all right. Everyone's had a rough couple of days. Lizzie here will take you upstairs to your room. You ready? Lead the way. Oh, sounds like someone's hungry. Hopefully we can find something he can eat. That's the last of them. What do we got? Any good prospects? Uh, let's see. We have one gardener. Two checkout people, a couple of paperwork people, a tax guy, two waitresses, and a bunch of other jobs that may or may not help us out. Oh, and one therapist. Hmm. Not much to work with, but we'll start assigning them jobs soon enough. You're still excited about it, aren't you? Yeah. Hmm. I mean, who could have expected so many? You think this is all because of my signs? Only Lizzie came before, so I bet it is. Nice. Go Pegs! (laughs) Michael? We have a slight problem. Trouble assigning rooms? No, it's not that. It's the boy. What, what, what about him? Is he hurt? No, it's not that either. It's just that, well, he can't eat many things. Well, we have plenty of canned food and things and some frozen stuff. I'm sure he'll be fine. No, it's like, it's like he can't digest a lot of those things. His aunt told me he has celiac disease. What the hell is that? I didn't know either until she told me. Um, he can't eat gluten. I guess that's something that's in wheat products. So, we'll pick out the wheat parts. No, she says that if anything with gluten even touches his food, he'll get sick. And almost all of our food has gluten in it in some way. All right, well, then we kick him to the curb. Michael! What? I was kidding. 
Enough of what he can't eat. What can he eat? Uh, his Aunt Callie says that he eats mostly greens, like vegetables and salads and things. Well, we have a bunch of frozen vegetables, but I'm not sure how long they'll last for just him. Shit. Which means the roof is now a priority. Come on, let's go try and deal with that asshole who's locked himself up on the top floor. What are you going to do? Well, one way or another, we need to get on the roof. I say we get Datu to turn off everything so we can flush him out. There has to be another way. We've tried talking to him. What else do you want us to do? I haven't. Let me try. And what will you say that we haven't? Well, I'm the therapist on the list. I think if you come about it the right way, he might open up a bit. You're a little young to be a therapist. Paging Dr. Fabre. Oh, that's me. I think I can handle it, Michael. Huh. Lizzie was stubborn and questioned everything. I knew she was worth the risk we had taken before to save her. I just wish Angel would have realized it. This shit's heavy. Hey, look at all these seeds. This is perfect. Carrots, pumpkins. I, I'm lifting heavy bags of soil, and you're fucking around with a bunch of little packets. You're such an officer. And you are such a specialist. Hey, would you look at that? Leave it. It's worthless. Yeah, but I still feel like it has some value. You know what I mean? You live your life thinking it could be everything, and now it's just paper. It's gonna take some time to get used to it, isn't it? Among other things. So, how are we doing on the list so far? Well, we got a bunch of wood, boards, and nails with screw guns, blah, blah, blah. We're doing pretty well on hardware parts. We're just really light on food. So is that it? Are we done here? Yeah. You sure that that's the only generator you could find? Sure, it's small, ain't it? That isn't going to help us much. No, it's not. That one will probably barely run a TV, let alone a fridge. Come on, let's just go low. Get down! What is it? Look outside. They're surrounding the Hummer. I count six. Maybe more on the other side. So what do we do now? I don't know. If we shoot, we could draw in more of them. Maybe we just wait it out. That's your solution to everything. Just stay behind the counter. What's coming in? Stay down. He's eating the... I'm going to take it out. Don't shoot it. Just a little closer. Don't do it. Come on. Come on. My God, did the other ones hear? No. They're still outside. That was really fucking stupid. Those others could have... But they didn't now. Come on. We should head out the back while we have a chance. Good call. I'll follow you. <laughs> Gotta admit, that was pretty cool, though. I stabbed him right in the eye. Yeah, I know. He didn't even see it coming. I knew you'd be back. Thought you might be able to sneak up on me, did you? See what I mean? He's lost it. I don't think he had it to begin with. Uh, Datu. Datu, you knew him before all of this. Why don't you say something? Bill! It's Datu! You know me, don't you? I've worked for you for, for the last couple years. You may sound like him, but that don't mean shit. Why don't you peek around the corner so I can see you? This is getting us nowhere. I have enough rounds to send his way. My rifle bullets goes faster and further than his shotgun. I said we make a break Hold for on. it. Hold on. You haven't even given me a chance. 
will be my guest, but just let me know when you want me to shoot him. Excuse me, sir? Sir, what's your name? You already know it. The other one probably told you. Okay, yeah, well, okay, Bill. Um, wh what are you doing in there? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm protecting myself. No, I mean, like, what do you plan on doing? Surviving. Oh, is that it? Just, just living? All pent up and alone? Sounds good enough to me. Better than letting you and your friends tear me up or make me one of you. You're alone in there, though. We're normal, like you, and, and there are many people downstairs that could help you. Horseshit. You don't have anything I need. I have enough stored up in here to last me a long time. But what about us? We need to get to the roof, and we can't do that unless you let us through. The roof? Now why the hell would I let you up there? All we want to do is use it to grow some food. That's all. We'll even give you some. We just need to get past your door. Well, I don't know. Listen, Bill? Bill, there's a little boy downstairs, and he can't eat any of the food we have. You wouldn't want a little boy to die, would you? Especially if he's one of the last normal people, like you. A boy, huh? And you aren't trying to get into my apartment? No, Bill. You don't have anything we need. All right. I'll let you up. Don't try anything funny. No quick movements. Okay. But can I trust you? How do I know you're not going to shoot me, Bill? I won't. All right. Here. Put my gun down. Okay. I'm coming out. Alone. You don't want me to... Just stay here, Michael. Nothing fast now. I... I'm watching you. See? I don't look like one of them, do I? No. I guess not. It, it's safe downstairs now. Lots of normal people are here. You can come out. Our and... deal was just to let you on the roof. Don't try and change that. All right, all right. I won't. I won't push. Thank you, Bill. Yeah. Whatever. Come on. Hey. I want fresh cucumbers when you got them. And don't try and do any funny stuff to them, or you'll never get back on the roof. What an asshole. Yeah, but we have what we want. Now where do we go from here? Keep moving. Ollie's clear. Move closer. See anything? They're still around the Hummer. Waiting things out, ain't doing shit, like always. We're sitting ducks out here. There's only six or so. Take them. Maybe there's another way. We need to distract them somehow. Mm. Hand me that rock. Here. But I don't see how a single rock... Boys, <laughs> They're clearing the Hummer. Come on! than you are with a rifle, but still, nicely done! Only take three sets of clothes, please. Hey, only one pair of shoes. This place is a zoo. Riley, you have any... Uh... Hey, put those back. I said only one pair. Ah, oh, these people, they think they have Macy's or something. They're so greedy. <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm just flustered right now. Did you want something? Yeah, we need the potted plants you gathered from the apartments. Lizzie talked to Bill, and we're able to go up to the roof. Oh, well, good for you. Go ahead and grab them. They're on the balcony. But I don't see much of a point. Sol and Angel haven't come back with any seats yet. Well, Pegs is going to start setting up so that uh, when they do get back, we just need to add them. Is this all you have? Oops. What do you mean, oops? What happened? One of them was just close to the edge. It just fell off. Oh, well, if that's... It sees us. 
Yeah, but it may not know how to get us. After all, it is only one. What is it doing? I don't know. Oh, shit. It's calling others. There's more coming. Join us again Monday for the next episode of We're Alive. And now, a word from our sponsors. Starring Jim Gleason, Shane Salk, Nate Gies, Elisa Elliott, Claire Doden, Jay Oligario, Blair Byhauer, Tammy Klein, Nico Marvin, and Manly Woods. I'm Michael Swan. We're Alive was written and directed by K.C. Whelan. Produced by Grayson Stone, Shane Salk, and K.C. Whelan. To find out more and for a full list of cast and crew, please visit our website at we'realive.com. Be sure to follow us on Twitter and Facebook for all production-related updates and future projects. Thank you for listening to this Audio Theater for the Mind by Wayland Productions.